Need help with all the main issues people have on Zoom? Let's get into it. Welcome everyone to Steve Reacts. I am Steve and yes, this is not a reaction. It is a tutorial. I'm going to try to help persons who have issues with two things, mainly on Zoom. That's one, persons who have issues with logging into Zoom with audio. And the second one, persons who might not know how to necessarily change their name when they get on Zoom. So these are two of the main issues are at least two of the main things that I've seen persons um, have a lot of challenges. So I just wanted to just put this video together just to help persons so that the next time you try to sign in, you know exactly what to do. Please remember to like and comment on this video. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So at present you are on my phone, uh, you're seeing my phone screen, I'm sharing my phone screen with you. One of the first things you need to do is to go into the Zoom app. When you go into the Zoom app, you're going to be able now to click the join button. This is where you're going to be able to put in the address and the ID that you received. So what you want to do right now, you want to make sure that you will click the join button. After you click the join button, two things are very important. If you notice here, there are two sections here. One is off and one is on. This one says don't connect to audio and this one says turn off my video. All right, so let me explain. If this is on, when you get logged on to Zoom, you're not going to have any audio whatsoever. You're literally not going to have any audio. You're not going to be able to hear them and they're not going to be able to hear you. So this is very important for you to make sure that this is off and this one should be on you want your you want to be able to have a, a video connection if this is off then you're not going to be able to connect to video i'm not talking about being able to mute or unmute your video or audio i mean it's not going to show anything to mute or unmute so you need to make sure that this is off and this one is on so once that is done all you need to do now is just to click in whatever ID you have, put in whatever information. And then we're gonna get to the interesting part now. This section is very critical. And remember, if you got a link and you press the link, it's gonna take you to right here. By default, you're gonna see this section. And I want everybody to please bear this in mind. Notice what it says here. It says to hear others, please join audio. Now, this is where people mess up this section. A lot of people just click cancel. If you click cancel, you're not going to have any audio. You're not going to have any audio. As a matter of fact, let's just go into it right now to show you what is going to happen. I'm going to click cancel. All right, there I go. Click cancel. Now I'm in the meeting. Now, but if you notice right here, it actually is not indicating that slash with the mic because no, I literally have no audio. So if you go over to participation, this is what most persons see. The video is there, but there's no audio. Now you need audio. So let's go back. Let's do this over. Let's do it again, just to make sure that you get the step. So we're going to join. And when we join, we're going to put in our information, whatever the information is. And then when you click join, when you receive the information that says call using internet, this is what we want to press. You want to make sure that you click this button. When you click it, notice the difference here. You now have the ability to mute or unmute. If you go over to participation um, or participants, whatever, um, you'll be able to see now that you have a mic and you have audio. Uh, I see a lot of people, you know, telling folks that if they happen to sign in Zoom and they, they don't have any audio, they need to log out. That's not true. So let's do this again. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to log in this time again. And what we're going to do, we're going to, let's say, for instance, someone click cancel, didn't click the right thing. And so they, they you know, they're in the meeting now 
without any audio. So a person said that if you go here and you realize that you don't have any audio, you need to log out and log back in. That's not true. It's pretty simple how to correct that. All you need to do is to come right down here where you should have the mic and you click that. If you click that, voila, there you go. The option comes back up and all you need to do now is just to click for using audio. And if you know this, yes, we now have audio right over here. So it's as pretty simple as that. All right, so that's the first thing that most persons have issues with. The second thing that a lot of people have issues with is actually when it comes to their names. Persons log in with the wrong name or log in with their phone name or some random name and they don't know how to correct their names and to get it right. So I'm going to show you now exactly how to change your name and put whatever name you want there when you're getting into Zoom. So let's get right into that. All right, so we're back on the phone and what we need to do is to go over to the settings tab. If we click the second tab, then if you notice this section here that has your email and your icon or whatever you have there, when you click that, we're going to go over to this section. And if you scroll right down, there's a section that says display name. When you click that, that's where you have the um, option to change your name and put in whatever name you have. But let's say for instance, um, you bypass this step, you didn't know how to do this, and you just actually just logged into a meeting. All right, I'm going to show you how to change your name while in a meeting. So let's get right into that. We are going to click to make sure that we have audio, but we're going to deal with that. You, uh, you already are prone aware that is concerned. So as it relates to your name, so you signed in and you realize that the name that you have is the phone name or some random generated name. You need now to correct it and give yourself a name that persons can identify you by. And it's 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 easier when you're in a trust service or a professional meeting to have a you know a name, you, to have your name that people can identify you by. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go right over to participants and look for yourself. You should be seeing yourself at the top. All you need to do, it's pretty simple, guys. All you need to do is just to click your name if you click your name then you notice the option comes up it says unmute and the next section says rename all you need to do is just to click the rename and you're able now to give your name whatsoever you want i'm steve mary so that's gonna still remain and after you finish putting in your name you click done and that's it it is as simple as that and now you're up and running with zoom without any issues whatsoever all right guys so this was just a quick tutorial just to help all of you to be able to have the best experience on zoom the next time that you get on again if this video has been helpful please remember to like please remember to share and also comment on the video it helps the algorithm and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe this is steve sign out saying catch you on the next one